I live in Greenpoint, a neighborhood of Brooklyn right across the East River from Manhattan. We actually live about a block from the river. Pretty much everyone in New York City is within a few blocks of the waterfront. But it's not like we live an aquatic lifestyle. No one gets in the water. Ever. New York's rivers just act as a scenic backdrop. It wasn't always that way. Our neighborhood's been experiencing massive residential growth over the last few years as previously industrial sites give way to new residential condos. They were supposed to be only along the waterfront, but a few slipped in on the edge of McCarran Park before the vertical height restrictions set in. Greenpoint has actually been in the news lately because of an underground oil spill that has leaked into the soil and the Newtown Creek for over 60 years. While the contaminated area of the spill has been established for some time, oil keeps popping up in the strangest places outside of the affected zone. When ground was broken for this new condominium high-rise building in the neighborhood, oil was seen bubbling up from the ground, as you can see in this documentary entitled Toxic Brooklyn. As the building was being excavated, uh, I noticed the stench of oil and basically found what looked to be uh, uh, tremendous amounts of oil oozing up through the ground. This was far outside the contaminated area of the Newtown Creek oil spill. So where'd the oil come from? I found a blog post that claimed the oil might in fact be coming from an old creek that used to run through town. So I asked its author, Ward Dennis, to sit down with me and explain what he found out. And and it didn't actually seem that there was anything really horrible that was happening on this particular site, historically. Uh, But then I started looking at some of the older maps and and where the creek ran, and uh, sure enough, Bushwick, you know, tributary of Bushwick Creek, that used to come all the way up to uh, uh, Grand and Rodney uh, ran right under this site. So I, you know, largely speculation, but started thinking about, well, maybe it's not something that happened directly on the site, but maybe there is still water flowing underground in, in different ways that are moving uh, some of these in- industrial accidents around the neighborhood. It turns out the creek was a major tributary of the East River that flowed far inland, creating a huge salt marsh where present-day McCarran Park now lies. The creek was filled in long ago, and landfill was used to adapt its coastline better for the many industries along its banks. The the biggest industry at the creek was at the head of the creek, and it was the... uh, Astro Oil Works, uh, Charles Pratt's Astro Oil Works. Uh, so that sat right literally at the mouth of the uh, Bushwick Creek on the Williamsburg side. On the, on the Greenpoint side, it was the Continental Iron Works in the Civil War, which was where uh, the ironclad, the monitor, was constructed. Uh, you also had a series of manufactured gas plants, and those sites have proven over the years to be notoriously toxic. Uh, they, you know, the the, tox- the toxicity from those sites just sort of goes straight down to the center of the earth in a way. So perhaps a creek that's been filled in for over a hundred years is still active underground and polluting our neighborhood. And maybe a better question is, why was it filled in in the first place? <laughs> 